Hello and welcome back. Um, at Crusader Kings 2 in the middle of project mod. Um, I've been looking, lo reading a little bit into the taxation stuff, and I can make heads or tails of it. The only advice that we're giving is focus on your taxation in the early of the game, and not waste any money on anything else. So that makes sense. Um, and upgrade your own holdings first, then your cities that are directly underneath you, and then start working on your vassal. So these guys gotta wait. They've gotta wait. I do, however, want. Uh, see, are you on? Yes, yeah, they're directly under me. But you've got your own children. Why? Oh, fuck you. If I would assassinate him. Dwarves really are not the assassination types, are they? That kind of sucks. I want this territory back, that's why. Um, it's not really that important. Um, but if I wanted if I wanted to develop it um, someday, I really need to um, finish the colonization uh, procedure there. But we are making money. We're making a lot of money. I'm actually gonna see if I can get my forges up to three, which you know upgrades a lot. I think if we're lucky, this is gonna be a long series. Um, well, lost Lorin. Must have. Do you have? Uh, Jesus! Uh, for a second, I was mistaken there. No, she doesn't have much troops. It seems Mordor is not going for her yet. It seems Mordor is being quiet for a while now. I think most of them are. Arnor is really expanding everywhere. There's a lot of background noise I can hear. I hope this not gets into the video, which would be really annoying. Uh, it comes from the outside. I hope it's get picked up by all the soundproofing I have. I really hope that it's not loud enough to be heard. Well, whatever. Um, I want my forges. I think I really should do the up uh, upgrade the other st stuff first. Why is there always so much freaking noise in my neighborhood? I wish I could just make a soundproof little room enough to do all my recordings and everything in. Wouldn't that be great? We cannot upgrade the dwellings because why not? Inner fortifications. Right. 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 So this is 2 for 162. And this is 3 for 530. Yeah, I think that's pretty damn obvious. Alright, so we're up to dwellings here. That means we need to make the inner fortifications here. Um, and save up the money for inner fortifications in the other two. Yeah, the first... I'm trying to to make everything more efficient. So first we'll be playing a lot of the money game. So it's gonna be slightly boring I guess to watch but you know we've gotta work with what we've got. We cannot afford to go to war because what can we fight with? We yeah we could probably conquer Buckland or something like that but uh, this the issue is this is all useless territory. It um Okay, so this is functioning, uh, but you know this needs to be colonized. I don't really, really want to do that. So let the world fix that for me, and we'll take the territory from them. So I am. This is one big. We might do one more expansion after this if we you know get the mountainous 
regions. Um, gotta love that kind of power. I don't like you winning cynical. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. You have Steve's gold because you're broke. How much money do you earn? Zero. So you will never get rid of the money. Oh, you're making a profit? Wow! Well, good for you. I don't know how, you, how you're doing it, but uh, you're making a profit. Hmm. Amazing! King Dane. So we are technically within the royal family. Good to know. We started out as a nobody, and now we've mixed ourselves within the royal family. It's my grandparents. Or that means my parents. No, that means that my wife. No, my mother was one. Right, right. Perfect. So we've got some inner fortifications built. Um, okay. Um, start. Is this the galleries? Yes, we want those. Um, now we still need the money for fortifications here and here. Here and here. I think it's cheaper to first build the large dwelling galleries here. Oh yeah. Hm. Now we need inner fortifications too, right? What do we need for the forges? Yeah, we're on the money game. Well, we need the intrigue, so. Mm. Hmm. More buildings here. We don't have any forges in this region because it's not mountainous. Hmm. Oh, that's a lovely increase. But we cannot. Hmm. That is strange. I should check that out. Well, first, then we need the. Um, other stuff fixed. So we're making. Yes, good, good. How much are we earning now? Nearly 11 ducats, so we're making two more than we did before we took over as this guy. You are 15. I really should start finding you a wife. Um, arrange betrothal. Marriage. Can I, why is the button gone there? Hmm. Okay, so we should look within the other dwarven kingdoms. I want to arrange a betrothal between one of mine, my grandson to be exact. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. This pro oh shit. This might be because he now has his own freaking territory. My son. I mean, I no longer have direct influence. What he does with his kids. Oh, I, I don't. Ugh. Well, fuck, I guess. He is good, though. I do like uh, him. I think he's better as me. I think he truly is more superior than his father. But, 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 but you can work with what you've got, and we've got this guy. The most of the third of Syrigil. Large dwellings have been built. Um, means we can up the large dwellings if you build the inner fortifications upgrade 
which is expensive. Large dwellings too. Alright, so we're waiting for inner fortifications here. And we still need to build them here. Right, 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 right. Still wish I knew how to improve on the money thing a lot more efficient. Um, yeah. But hey, you gotta work with what you've got. And this is what we've got. But it would, we can start working on the uh, large dwellings here immediately after it's finished. I think that is a good sign as well. We are quite, I, to say, well, we are. We are average. We really quickly advanced through the early stage of the game because we could make a big land grab uh, in the wilderness territories. But, you know, our second target is our king, which is. You know, which is an issue. He's currently at 4.8. We are at... Well, we're not improving as quick as he is. Mm. Uh, what about mercenaries? It's only 400 of them. That's not gonna make a difference. I somehow... He's got a lot of children, actually. Right, um... Good. We are making more and more money every day. It should up to ten. Oh wait, Belisir? Right. Okay, now I'm not... Uh, for a second I, I was thoroughly confused. Um, but uh, I should not be... Damn, these inner fortifications are expensive. Wait, so I can build forges here, but I cannot build them in any other... Um, okay, that means that this is a very, very good region. Why is there... What's the reason that this is a region where forges can be built? Must have to do something with terrain type. Hills, tundra, mountain, plains, plains. Because this is hills type. Huh. That is interesting. I cannot check that, of course. Let's see, is there any hills types here? Tundra, plains, plains, tundra. Plains. Mountain and mountains. These two will be really good to have. Anyway, we s we will never give this territory away again. All right. Um, first, though, I want the um, interesting, but not really. Good, I wanted that. Um, forges. Only cost a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks for a couple of forges. Huh. It means Eden Leo is just as efficient as uh, to be upgraded as our capital of Far Farak Udum. I think is the proper way to say it. And if you don't agree, well, I'm the king. This 
<laughs> you have no choice in the matter. <sighs> I think though, when I'm king, my first target will be these little shysters. The Shire. This is let's see, plains, 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 plains. It's all plains, I presume. Farmland hills. There is a few, but there's a little bit of hills here. But I think it's good and rich territory to have. They have only internal allies. Good. Arno is increasing in strength, though. I think that's a good thing because Gondor. Mordor has been quiet though. Huh. This guy fought his independence war. Let's see. Gondor. Hi. Uh, you. Your total strength is 9,000. Arnor, your strength is... I'll get a little bit smaller, thank you. 8,000. Means you can field about 10,000. I guess it's an improvement. Uh, so we need to do inner fortifications here as well. <laughs> and we're not gonna do that. So yes, money is our game right now. I'm wondering, can I go plundering? Uh, nope. Too bad. I would have liked to go looting, but we can't. I, I realize that these games might, uh, these sessions might be a little bit more boring to watch since we we don't really have much choice here to go to war. We can, you know, conquer useless territory. We cannot depose our liege which, uh, because he's far too strong. We cannot gain more internal territory because that is directly owned by our freaking king by now. Which is, you know, kind of crap. Um. War with the Shire is going to be really difficult. By you, a you're neutral. Hmm. You still regard it as a. It's going to keel over soon. By the way, it's got plus ten health. It's lower than. Slower than a dwarf said, and I keeled over at a young age. Well, I did not keel over, I got freaking killed. Alright, oh, before I need to do that, I need to get the. There we go, inner fortifications. Okay, still 160,000. Oh, you're still in your depth. Oh, yes. Yes, money ain't is that interesting of a game, but it's all we can do for now. It's all. Look at this. This nearly this entire nation it consists of fucking ruins. It is interesting to see though that these nations do exist. I hope that they, once we start truly moving towards the enemy, that we, uh, they fix that pr little problem. There, there is some wilderness still here, which is, I'm fascinated that in the other, in our previous game at Rivendell, um, it improved itself quite a bit, and now he doesn't. Mother-in-law, so you... Okay.
She has parents? Oh, interesting. I would not have known that hiking thing. Wait, the parents still alive? According to this, they are still alive. They're on a quest. That means that we could technically check where they were. No, the game is not there. It's like, well, they are on a quest, but we don't know where. They are probably sailing across the sea. That's the thing the elves do. I don't know why. Because I'm not at home with the lore well enough, but I know they're doing it. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. Have a very good day. Bye-bye.